Good morning. I've got some lovely things that I haven't shown you from two weeks ago. Um, you might have seen me post pictures of them on my story, either when I was walking around the car boot or when I was loading the car up. So some of the things you might recognise, but I've not shown you them um, on a reel or a video yet. So before I forget the prices of everything, I thought I'd better get, get cracking and show you now. Um, so there's a little bit of a mixture here. It's mostly housey stuff. I'd shown you all the clothes already. Um, although there's two items of clothing that I didn't show you one of which is this top which is 50 pence it's lovely it's really smooth I thought it might be cashmere but it isn't but it's um, an incredibly smooth knit and it's a Zara one and um, it's got this little tie which you're probably supposed to tie higher up on your neck but um, yeah red's lovely isn't it coming into autumn winter so um, and it looks like it's well it looks brand new it looks like it's never been worn so this was a 50 pence buy and um, the other item of clothing that I bought was also red, a bit of a red theme, which is this here. And I bought it back and my youngest daughter was like, oh, mum, that's, now let me get this right. Napa Piri, Napa Piri. Um, but apparently it's a very expensive brand and it was only a pound. And this is a really lovely coat and you can, it fits me perfectly as well, fits like a glove. You can unzip um, the arms and have it as a gilet. It has got the hood missing, but hey ho. Uh, that's not really the end of the world. I can't imagine I'll put a, head, a hood up with this style of jacket anyway. So that was a pound. And the reason it was a pound is because everything on the entire store was a pound. And it was a local couple. I forget what the charity was, but it's a local charity that they're fundraising for. So um, it was donations that they collected from the people of Shrewsbury, which is quite an affluent area um, and quite a generous area as well. A lot of, you know, when you're out sort of shopping, there's a lot of kindness there. You just you know you tend to notice that people's manners are lovely people i guess because it's a slower pace of life have got you know time to give you a little bit more of their time so we'll stop and have a natter so shrews was a lovely part of the world but like i say it is quite affluent um so the don the donations that had gone to this couple and they just got everything um on the stall everything was a pound so i bought this coat because i liked it not because i had any idea of what the brand was but of course it is a lovely surprise when you get back i think they're filled with down so that should be really nice and warm in the winter and from the same couple i also bought um this which again it was brand new um four pounds whether it was oh, well i guess it must have come from another car boot or a charity shop because i only paid a pound for it so whether they tried selling it for more at somewhere before but it's really really sweet lots of little diamantes in it which were all present um i've started buying yet again a few candle holders and hurricane lanterns but ones that i can use indoors um, and again this is just thinking gas and electricity bills i'm going to be putting lots of candles on which always look lovely and cozy just got to remember to not fall asleep and blow them out at the end of the night so that was a pound from the same couple i thought i'd bought something else from them as well hmm but now I can't see anything on the table that I had from them. Perhaps it was just those two things. Um, also for a pound, I bought this um, from a different lady. Um, it would have been, it's not antique, but it is of a decent vintage. Uh, quite a decent vintage, actually. And it's a tea caddy and it should have a handle on here. They tended to be um, bamboo or wicker. Um, but I shall just use that as a pot. It's a lovely, lovely pot. It is damaged. Um, it was a pound, so that doesn't bother me. And she actually said to me, oh, it's only a pound. She said, because um, it is a little bit bashed. It's probably a bit more bashed than I realise. So I hadn't noticed that chunk on it there that was out of it. And also here, somebody's done a really poor repair job. Well, probably better than I do, to be fair. But can you see they've tried to... Um, I think where it's been worn, they've tried to fill and paint it to match the rest of the pattern. Um, so yeah, so it isn't perfect, but I do think it's adorable. And for a pound, I just think, yeah, absolutely fabulous. And you know, I quite like it without the handle on. I quite like it just as a pot. And from the same lady that I bought that from, I also bought, which I love, these two cushions here. And these were a pound each. And I just, it felt sort of very William Morrissey um, in terms of the print. I mean, it's not, it's more contemporary than that. And they, they've got the inner pads in them. And the inner pads are um, feather ones, not foam. So they've got that really nice squidge to them. So there was a pair of those from the same lady that I bought the blue and white tea caddy from, pound each, um, which was brilliant. And she was very firm on everything was a pound each. There was no getting the two for £1.50 or anything like that with her. But again, no problem with that whatsoever. 
I bought this scarf. Um, some of you will have heard of this brand. Um, my daughters knew what it was, I didn't. The brand is called Pieces and, um, and it's huge and it's lovely. And my eldest daughter has got one almost the same from an even more expensive label than this one. I think these are about 25, 30 quid. I think hers was maybe 40 or 45. Um, and I forget the brand of her one, but this is as near as damn it looks the same. And I paid £1.50. She wanted £2. In fact, I think she started off at three and then she said we can have it for two. And I said any chance of doing it at a pound? Knowing very well the answer would be no, but the response was absolutely not. Um, she said, but I would let you have it for one fifty. So it's super soft. I mean, it's only um, synthetic a wool and synthetic mix. I think it feels like as if it's mohair, but it isn't. But um, I thought, yeah, absolutely lovely. And I bought another scarf. Now this one has never been used either, although it doesn't have the tags on it. It's very Mulberry-esque. Um, I forget the name of the company. There's a shop quite near to here and they sell scarves and bags and charms. And they've got, um, they've got patterns from designer labels. So like this is the Mulberry tree that you would see um, on a Mulberry bag. But of course they don't get done for being counterfeit because they don't print Mulberry across it. And they sort of copy a lot of the, the prints of a lot of the nice designer um, labels. But um, the good thing about it being, it's not sort of a cheap, tacky, off the market, fake copy, copy or trying to be fake. It's just that kind of style. And it's incredibly soft. It's really, really lovely. Um, I've got one like this already, bought another. But um, but yeah, I, I loved that. But um, that one she wanted pounds and I paid 50 pence for it. So again, great. Um, I bought this Port Merion jug from the same lady that I bought the Mulberry-esque vase from. This is what I stopped and caught my eye. And this is before I bought my Port Merion vases and bowl last weekend. So I'm definitely starting to get a bit of an eye for it, which is a bad thing because it'll be another thing that I'll be collecting that I'll end up with loads of. Um, but this teapot was £3. There is a little bit of craisin on it. I don't know if you'll make it out. Um, possibly not. I don't. I think it will probably look perfect to you. I mean, it's pretty good, don't get me wrong, but with its years, you can, if you look very close, you see some crazing on there. Um, but it's a nice size teapot. I must have a dozen teapots in the kitchen, forever buying them, a bit like I'm forever buying mugs. Um, however, this was three pounds and I got it for two. So again, a little bit of Port Mary, I'm very pleased with that. I bought this little blue and white jug. And in all honesty, I can't remember if I paid a pound or 50 pence for it. It's a good size one, nice size. Um, again, I just this time of year, I start thinking coming into autumn, coming into winter, Christmas tables. My favorite type of food is like quite um, rustic. Um, I love a pudding. Um, I love having bowls out with cream or custard on the table, you know, if there's a bit of a family affair going on. So even though I've got loads of them, but yeah, I can't remember if it was 50 pence or a pound. I'm guessing I probably paid 50 pence for it. Um, I bought a little picture frame here. I've actually got one of these. Um, now this, um, I don't know if they still do it, but Monsoon used to do a home or home accessories section. And about 15 years ago, I bought this picture frame, um, which had just come out at the time. And I actually picked it up from a car, but it sold for a couple of pounds. And it's when Mon Monsoon had just started to do um, their range of homewares. And there was a lady, um, whether she worked for them or was a rep, I don't know, but every week she used to have monsoon items for sale. So I've got one of these with a picture of my two youngest ones when they were really little and we'd had a day out at a farm. And then I saw this one. Again, I can't remember because it's been a fortnight. It was, I think it was a pound and I think I offered 50 pence or it was two pounds and I offered a pound. But it was certainly no more than a pound, although I probably would have paid a little bit more because... Um, now I can probably put a picture of my eldest one so that we've got the two younger ones on one side and then the eldest one on the other. So I need to find a nice picture there. But yeah, I thought it was really, really sweet and really nice that I would now have a pair of them. I bought this rabbit mould, which I love rabbits. Um, is it jelly mould or would it be for blancmange? I don't know. It's one to hang up on the wall. It's got a little loop there. It's been sat in my dresser for the last two weeks. I really like it. That was a pound in quite nice condition. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit like the Silvac um, ornamental rabbits with the huge oversized ears that you tend to see. They're like in a shade of green. Um, so that reminded me of that. So, so he or she was a pound. I bought this. Bit cheeky. <laughs> I, th I think I'll put it on my stories. Um, Posh of the Next Door. 
that would cause all sorts of arguments if I put that up. But um, yeah, I thought that was quite funny. And that was a pound and I tried to get it for 50 pence. And I think they could tell that I was definitely and really wanting to buy it. So it's now got prize of place in the greenhouse where next door can't see it. So that was a pound for my cheeky little sign. I bought this for a pound. This, I thought when I saw it initially, so it was just sticking out on, on the tarpaulin with some other things that I bought. To win with, I thought it was um, a butter pat. Um, but actually it's, I think the lady said to me, it's a beater and that would make sense. I mean, a lot of beaters you'll see, which look quite nice if you've got a cottage hung on the wall, are the wicker ones with the long stemmed handle and then the quite intricately woven and very strengthy round um, beater section at the bottom. But of course this is a wooden one. I've had this hung up in the downstairs layer, but it's now had to come down because I've got to... Um, well, I'll show you a picture later. I had to find find space for my my two new pictures, new car boot, new from last weekend. But that's where that was. That was a pound. Um, I bought these two little fans. Don't know where they're going to go, but I'm itching to redo my bedroom and get it all decorated and moved around. And I'm going to see about having a partition wall in there. The house is listed, so I can't change the layout of the rooms. But I might um, be able to get away with having like a staged partition wall which isn't actually fixed so it will have to be fixed to the back of a wardrobe or a chest of drawers or something but just to give some separation because the room is so big I'd like to make it a little bit cosier so there were two of these um they're a pound each and I paid one pound fifty for the two the other one is still in the packaging obviously they're a little bit um angel aren't they a little bit escaped to the chateau so I may or may not put one either side on a bedside table or I might, might just wait until next summer and use them as a fan. So yeah, two of those, but I got two in case I did decide to put them either side of the bed. From the same lady that I got the fans from, I got this, no clue what it is. I guess you'd put it on the wall and put stamps or drawing pins or whatever in. I was surprised to see the price on the back. Um, I paid 50 pence. Originally it was 13 pounds 50. I mean, 13 50, that must be like paper chase or somebody getting away with that kind of price. And then this is a TK Maxx label. So um, the TK Maxx price is 6 99 which I still think is quite a lot really for a very little box, but I did think it was quite cute. Um, if it wasn't as officey looking, you could probably get away with having it as a bit of a salt cellar or a, a spice jar or something. But um, yeah, for 50 pence, or matches maybe. Yeah, perhaps you'd put matches in there, but um, a bit too modern to go on the wall next to my fireplace, but uh, I shall find something or somewhere for it to go. I bought this bottle for 50 pence. Um, I was thinking that I'd put some homemade lemonade in there. Well, I think it's probably going to be next summer now before I get around to making homemade lemonade because really it's a similar thing to do, isn't it? But um, yeah, for 50 pence, I've got a few of these bottles. Again, whenever I see them, I buy them. They look quite pretty. Um, if you're eating out in the summer, just fill them with juice or um, your wine or what have you and use it like a carafe, put it on the, on the table when you're eating out. So 50 pence well spent there. I bought this little old uh, rolling pin. I had one like this when I was little. Um, so this is probably as old as me or maybe even a little bit older. Um, this was in a little baking set that I had. Um, I used to love baking with my mum. So it reminded me of that. Um, and that was a pound. I've got loads of old rolling pins, like too many. I've got, you know, some of them are shoved in drawers because I've got jugs full of old rolling pins. I've got no more room for them. But um, because it was a little bit different and because it sparked a memory, I bought that. I bought this, I've said to you before, I've had no ends of these over the years. I sort of, I'll build the collection up and then I'll either move house or change the kitchen. And then I end up selling them off. Um, they're asking two and I paid a pound for it. And I think a pound is quite a nice, quite decent buy. It's, um, it's pretty being plain white. It's not vintage as such. I mean, it'd be a few years old. But yeah, in nice condition. And um, I think I'm going to start building my chicken egg holder collection back up again. I bought some kilner jars because it's that time of year. I have got, um, I'm so behind. I need to do chutneys and jams. You would have seen, I have done the first round of strawberry jam in the week. I've got loads of tomatoes. I've got loads of brown apples. I'm in loads and loads and loads. If you're local and you want or need any, just let me know and I'll get some to you. Um, so these ones here, it was a kilner jar day. I did put them on my story. So these were a pound each and they are pristine. Still got the price um, sticker on the top and I offered £1.50 for the two and got them for £1.50. So those will be used in the kitchen. And then the next store that I went to also had kilner jars. 
um, also put them on my story. And these are actually larger and I quite like the oval shape. I think I like it a little bit more. So those are the first lot and then these are slightly larger ones that I saw on store number two. But the downside to them, I was just so excited that these were 50 pence each, having just paid 150 for two. So um, I was like, oh, have both of those, please, and handed my pounds over. Didn't bother to look at them, which is a shame because they are a little bit rusty around the metal. It's nothing that a good old scrub with some wire wool wouldn't sort out. But in truth, I'm probably not going to bother scrubbing them and wire wooling them. I think I shall just use them for storage in the greenhouse, obviously because they're airtight. And with some of my seeds, which are getting a bit older now, of course, if I do them uh, in an airtight container, they'll stand a better chance of propagating next year. So, so yeah, so again, can't really complain that there's a, a little bit of uh, tarnishing on the metal around the top. I bought this. I'm really pleased about this. I've been looking at it for one now for well, quite a number of weeks. Um, I've got my blue and white umbrella stand by the back door, which sometimes gets moved into the hall and then it comes back out again. Um, I'm always juggling things around. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna start picking up vintage umbrellas and as and when I see them. I think I paid three pounds for this. It wouldn't have been any more than that. I'm wondering, did I get it for 250? But no, I think I paid three. Um, and it's lovely and it has got a few little stitches on it where at some point in the past it's perhaps come away but aside from that it works perfectly and beautifully although I don't suppose I'll be using it too much um, if anything I'll probably have a little small fold up on it in my bag if at all I mean most of the time I'll be charging around and just getting my hair soaked and then complaining when it's a big frizzy mess as usual um, but yeah this is I've got it already in the in the umbrella stands by the back door and it just looks lovely every time I walk past it I just feel myself very tactile sort of touching the handle as I walk by but um, yeah I really liked that I thought it's cute and I should be looking out for more of them although we're in the time of year now where the car boots are going to start running out soon I bought these two lanterns. These were a pound each. I don't know if you remember, right at the start of summer, I bought a very large grey one um, for a pound and it was broken, but I just um, pulled out the candle from inside and the fixing and it makes a nice um, ornament. These were a pound each and I knew to say to the lady, do they work? And straight away she said, no, my love, they don't. And that's why I'm getting rid of them. So the way they should work is that they've got a solar panel on top. And then over the course of the day, by the time you go to bed at night time or you sat out in an evening, the candles are solar powered and light up. But she said, no, they're not working. She said they've packed in. Um, and so I said, well, what can I have the two for? And she said, you can have them for 150. And I thought they're worth getting for that anyway, because I've got them next to my large one and they look like a really pretty decoration. I may or may not get round to changing um, the, the actual candle inside for another one, but either way, they look pretty. So yeah, so they, they were quite pleased. I was quite pleased with those, they look quite good. I bought this, which is in terrible condition really. Um, but again, I think I paid three quid for it or thereabouts. Um, I think it's French, it certainly looks continental. It's a coffee pot as opposed to a teapot. Generally speaking, you'll know the difference. Um, I'm probably teaching you to suck eggs here, but if it's conical shaped or very tall and upright, especially the older ones, um, then it tends to be for coffee as opposed to tea. Yeah, so continental, I believe, I think it's probably French. It's in terrible condition. Somebody has done um, an attempt at patching up the enamel, which is a shame because when enamel is worn, I think that all adds to, you know, the vintage charm of it. But somebody's got, um, I think it's emulsion paint and sort of, you know, tried to cover it all up. But um, so I want to use it for coffee. However, I mean, it's lovely to have it with the lid, but come next summer, I'm, uh, I'm always cutting flowers out of the garden. That will make a beautiful vase, beautiful display. So um, it needs a good clean as well in the meantime. And you can get enamel with paint, but it's about eight quid for a little little pot so i'm not sure it's worth me going to the effort of attempting to restore it but lovely and of course it is a very very good size i bought a platter which you have definitely seen on my stories there were two of them um the one style i'd got already and then this one i don't have it has got a hairline crack to it i wouldn't particularly um want to put uh meat on it because of the hairline crack you never know I'm not a germaphobe, not at all. In fact, I'm, I'm quite the opposite. Um, but I do think with very old china, it, when it started to crack, you're best just keeping it for decoration as opposed to serving your foods on it just for safety's sake. And I think mentally I know when it's um, 
probably being in a cellar or being in an attic and I know how damp my cellar gets um, but either way very very old um, very pretty can't quite make out the back stamp that's on the back um, but I mean it's over 100 years old and it was two pounds so uh, two pounds well spent lovely so yeah to go with my collection of platters and then I think the only other thing for me to show you um, look at this little book for 50 pence Dear old Captain Tom, it's Captain's Captain Tom's Life Lessons. I haven't started to read it yet. I didn't know that there um, that he had a book out. I don't know if it was written before or after he passed away, um, but it's in pristine condition. And I thought, what well, you know, that'll probably be a little bit of a tearjerker, won't it? But um, sometimes these books that make you have a little bit of a tear in in your eye, I think, make you appreciate sometimes just what you've got just to be grateful and thankful for the life that you live even when it can and does often get tough um so this is a uh, retail price of 12.99 so that was a, a a nice 50 pence spend nice little hardback book so that's all of my bits from two weeks ago that i hadn't shown you that i've been dying to show you oh no i've missed something sorry this was a 50 pence hurricane lantern <gasps> nearly forgot to show you there is um i think i'll put it on my story so you might have seen it already and there are some wax marks inside so it does need a really really good clean and i've got other very similar ones to this but um it's not vintage it's that kind of probably uh made in india cheap thin metal shabby cheeky but again 50 pence and you can get these um candle holders and just mix them up a bit just put a few of them together and they look delightful so getting um autumn winter ready for the candles but um so sorry it's taken me a fortnight to get around to showing you all of this stuff that i've been posting on my story but um yeah very pleased with what i've bought just going to check yeah nothing else that is actually it okay have a lovely lovely sunday everybody take care bye